Hi folks, we're back cutting through the matrix and just going through some of the, the carbon cons that are coming out and how it's all going to put us into little, little uh, straw and mud huts basically down the road. We will live in little villages and we'll wear little grass skirts if we're lucky, if we're allowed to cut the grasses and make the skirts out of them. As long as they're enviro-friendly, we'll be okay, I suppose. And you know, your little commie supervisors who work on behalf of their fascist masters who will come around to make sure that everything's okay. But back to the, the article here, it says here that um, 10% of the Australian carbon tax was given as a tithe to the United Nations. And then there's $599 million as part of the first, the fast, I should call it a first, a first, all right, a fast start finance program over three years. That's in the pipeline too. So the governments are committing massive amounts to United Nations, you see. And here's from, here's where the countries are are committing right now from that Copenhagen meeting they had last year. It says Australia's going to give $599 million. Belgium is giving a hundred and, uh, 50 million for fast starts and their total um, for, for, uh, is, is for $42 million, or euros, I should say, 42 million euros. Canada, Canada, where we've got one of the highest tax brackets on the planet, uh, we're given $400 million. Isn't that nice? Just to get up going quickly, the fast start, which will always stay there when you're paying the main stuff up on the side of it too. Anyway, it says Denmark is uh, paying uh, $308 million. Um, and it says uh, European Union is 150 million on top of what all the independent countries under the Union as well. Finland is 110 million. Uh, France is well, 1,260 million euro. Germany is 1,260 million euro. Iceland uh, 1 million euro. Uh, Lux- Japan is 15,000 uh, million US United States dollars. Uh, Luxembourg is 9 million euro, Uh, Malta is 1 million euro, Netherlands is 10 million euro, Norway 1,000 million, Uh, eventually I've got to 382 million, that's what they've got to actually mark down for Norway, Um, Portugal for faster is 36 million, and uh, once it's up and running it'll be 12 million per year I guess, Slovenia is uh, 8 million euro, Spain, 375 million. These, some of these countries, remember, were bankrupted just recently too, and they're going to really get it again. Uh, Sweden is 800 million, and Switzerland is 140 million. United Kingdom is 15,000 million. <laughs> oh, sorry, 1,500 million. What's a few thousand here? They, they, they're dealing in billions these days, eh? It seems so like petty cash now. We're so used to trillions of dollars in debts and stuff. Anyway. That, look at the cash, and you wonder why these big international corporations are all on board with their shadow governments and stuff, working with, you know, buying the scenes there. Because these are the guys who are going to trade all this stuff that you're paying, eventually, you see. That's, that's the con that's going on there. Big, big money. In fact, Rothschild said it, says this is the next stock market. And there, there'll be no other stock market eventually. It'll just be for basic stuff like food and so on. Uh, as they take the world down and this is going to take over from the stock market basically, it'll be the new type of investment and in, in eliminating carbon supposedly, and they've got the big magicians already with, with uh, scientific sounding terms and so on, ready to con you all into believing it, 